I'm in the Lidl shop here in Stavar. I'm on these 12 volt batteries. I think I'm going to use one for the caravan lights. And I just noticed it's actually cheaper to buy two wee, um, two amps, two amps battery is £10 and a four amp battery is £25. So you're paying a five or extra for the four amps. Both batteries fit the same tools. So you're still better off buying two small batteries than buying one big battery. The charger and the battery works out at um, 1799. Or you buy the two together, 1799. Doesn't make a lot of sense, the two is in the one box, but it's still the same price. I was looking at the charge times here. Um, I was checking all the voltage on just to make sure there's the right amps and all the rest. Identical. It takes 60 minutes to charge one of them and it takes two hours to charge the bigger one. So that means it's exactly twice the power. 2.4 amps. Uh, the 2 amp hour one is equivalent to 24 watt hours. So I'm going to get one of them. I'm going to put inside the battling compartment of my caravan and I'm going to make something so the two wires of the caravan can hook onto that instead of carrying a big battery because all I run is a sparker from a cooker. Ideally it would be handy getting another charger and wiring, um, use that as a fitting in the caravan. So you know, just pull it apart, use the, take out the electronics and just have the wires going straight to it into the caravan. So a spare charger is £8 if I wanted to do it that way. But I'm going to buy one of these now. And you can always use it for the power tools as well. But it's very rare to get power tools now with 12 volt batteries. They're always 18 volts. So, uh, I'm going to give us a go. I thought about a few power tools too. I might buy like one of the oscillating tools. £25 for that. But you have to buy the batteries as well. But if it does the caravan and that both, wouldn't be so bad. This is the battery locker in my caravan. I haven't had a leisure battery in here in ages. I could put the loose in there, but I don't bother me out. Uh, I wired this up temporary to the all powers. So I could have the all powers run the caravan. Didn't work because it wouldn't stay live all the time. You had to keep pushing the button. Uh, this is the wee battery now, button middle. And this is only temp. I haven't charged it. I haven't bought a charger. I had um, 30 power with me today. And I bought a wee cordless uh, saw. And I bought one battery. The battery charger is £8. So I'll get the battery charger tomorrow. I forgot the credit card. But this is a 12 volt there, power tools are all 12 volt, you see. It's even marked, they marked the battery, plus and minus. I don't see what shows up here. The battery is marked plus and minus. Now, an ideal way of doing that instead of sticky tape, I'm just putting this on to just see if it works in theory. And that is, if you want, if I want this permanently, just to buy another charger, strip out the inside the charger, glue the charger in and just slot the battery on. All I run in this caravan here is two lights and the sparker for the cooker. So we see now on site. Now a wee bit of power will be lost going through the caravan, things like this. That battery out of the box it hasn't been charged. So I'll get it charged tomorrow and see what happens. But look at this look. That's a one watt LED bulb. That's all I have, it's a one watt LED bulb. And that's a one watt LED bulb. So it's nice having just a light to put on. I would use um, these lights here. I would, that takes AA batteries, like, not my job. Like, and I've worked like this at night time. These wee things here were handy. And I, I have them uh, usable AA batteries. And, but the one thing, the one thing that hasn't worked in ages, and it's a wee bit slow, and that's how you notice your battery's going down the sparker, the cooker doesn't go. So, just sort of, just about doing it like. But that I get it, that, I reckon it was charged up, that'll do the job. So rather than carry a big enormous heavy battery that I don't use, because I use these inverters and stuff inside. I get this all read up for I go away. And these inverters have to clamp onto the battery to get the full power. There's no point having a battery stuck in a battery box. It's in here, I need the power for the inverters. That's a 500 watt pure sign. And then I have the 1000 watt modified sign. So I need these inside. I come up with another brilliant idea for my uh, cool box as well this this winter. So that'd be a different wee video.
But you don't need to spend big money. What do you reckon, Luna? We need this first, this first knees tied up before we go, pet. <sighs> see, see these walk now. I can't do everything, like. But uh, I'm going to take the Dyson Hoover and every, everything with me in these holidays. So there you go. Now, they do a 4 amp one. But the 4 amp one is not going to put that any higher. It's just twice the capacity. So, I'm going to buy a couple of them wee batteries. It works out cheaper buying the wee ones. And, uh, see how it goes. I'm going on holiday next week now. I'll try it out. Here at the circular saw, small is the word small. Smaller than I imagined. But it's a brief weight depth. So it is still made of steel and all here. Proper steel. The safety guard. The time you put the battery and all in it. So I don't know. You cut through floorboards. But um I don't know if you cut a worktop wet. You wouldn't cut a worktop wet. Wouldn't be deep enough to cut a worktop. So it's very limited what it can do. But I'll give it a test out to see. But it definitely seems heavy enough. £25. Of course you get £25. Worth. If you're buying the battery for something else, then I. But to buy that just on its own and pay, an hour, pay the extra for the battery, no, not worth it. But because I want the bath doing it and I want the wee oscillating tool, which I'll get tomorrow, it's okay.